don't know if you guys remember the old EF Hutton commercials when he talks, everyone listens. Well, when this guy talks, we all listen. We don't all agree, but Warren Buffett did say something today that's got everyone debating. He says, you know, don't raise the minimum wage because there are actually better ways to put money into the hands of the working poor. Now, he proposes a big expansion of redistribution. We're talking bigger checks from the Treasury Department for people who work but don't make a lot of money at work. And here's what he says in the Wall Street Journal in the op-ed. This is one of the quotes. Quote, the better answer is a major and carefully crafted expansion of the earned income tax credit, which currently goes to millions of low-income workers. The process is simple. You file a tax return and the government sends you a check. Sounds enticing to me. So is Warren Buffett on to something here? Could this potentially solve this whole minimum wage debate? Jesse, what do you think? Well, he's on to something. Unfortunately, though, there's 300 tax changes to the stimulus bill this year alone, and it just created more more bureaucracy within the IRS. We don't even understand the tax code that we have now. So I don't see how this adjustment is going to make things easier. He even admits that there's a lot of fraud going on with the earned income tax code right now. We're having a lot of problems making sure that's legitimate. So if we can't get rid of the fraud we currently have, how are we going to resolve it with this? And I who, just find it who pays for this, right? I mean, somebody has to pay. For right. this. Either it's going to be the private corporations yes. out there right. that are paying you more money because you're, exactly. you're forced to pay $15 an hour, or the government. Right. And if the government, that means you and I yes. that are paying taxes, tax we're payers. paying for it. So I, I, don't, I don't think this works either way. You know, yeah, I mean, there is a major, major difference between the private sector and the federal government, i.e. the taxpayers. And what about those people who just barely above that threshold, but paying into the tax system, and they're, re- they're taking money from you know, lower middle income folks and giving it to the neighbor down the street because they make 10 grand less. I mean, it's just dumb. I know, well, the whole the whole thing is actually in theory makes sense about the the earned income tax credit. The problem here is first of all the execution, indeed. But I think that what Matt hit on it has to do with the fact that we as taxpayers are subsidizing this program, and it means that Walmart and McDonald's don't have to pay fifteen dollars an hour. Maybe the answer is some. Increase to minimum wage and simplify or a free market. and simplify. Or, or and maybe the free markets, or maybe get a better education, maybe not yeah. have two or three kids, been drop out of school. There's a lot of potential answers, but right. I think people need to understand this the way earned income tax credit is set up right now, in my way, it's an inducement not to improve your life. Exactly. It's also an inducement not to be married. That's right. That's uh, you know, if, 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 a, there's, if a, you're a couple, uh-huh. you actually can game the system better by not getting married, filing separately. Right. That's right. And, there, and so exactly. and then there's also reasons not to make more money. Mm-hmm. Why would I work extra hours if the government's going to, to Warren Buffett's point, send me a check? I think it, maybe he came, think he, I would think, I'm, I don't want to be cynical about it, Jim. Right. Uh, but when I tweeted this out earlier, people were saying, listen, the guy owns Dairy Queen and all other things. That's He's just right. talking his own book. Well, what, what I think what he, he was saying is that at some point you're earning more wages. Yes, you give up the tax credit. And that's a good trade-off for you. I mean, to but, me, but the thing is, the transition when you make, you yes, know, if, if moment, my boss yes. says he's going to pay me an extra hundred bucks and I lose an extra four thousand a year, I may say no thanks. Well, I mean, I guess when I read this op-ed piece, my thought was, I don't know if it should be either or. I think there's a, probably a combination of both. Neither is going to solve it independently. I agree with Matt's point. Uh, again, it's about the free market, but but I actually could see both working together to. But they both exist right now. We do have a minimum wage, right. and we do have earned income tax credit. But I think people speak of them as either or. Um, you know, raise the minimum wage. Well, actually, I think that will cost more jobs and it will help. Um, it also doesn't actually get to, let's say, the low-income families because you know a. a I, I, it, that improves the wages for everyone, including uh, middle and upper uh, you know, classes, could also get higher wages because of that. Uh, I think it's a combination of both have to move a little forward. Chris? Look, I'm all for workers getting more money. I think it's great. It, 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 this, it's the American dream. But I would rather get there through good jobs. So let's put policies in place. Let's not put Band-Aids on problems, which, you know, entitlement, we, we aren't dealing with those issues. We have to get to those. I think that opens up a lot more business, a lot more jobs, which will bring higher paying jobs you know a and, lot of people hope. don't realize we had it last month this country our federal government had 150 billion dollar surplus they took in a record amount of money because of higher corporate taxes and individual taxes it did not help those people protesting for higher minimum wage on mcdonald's stop giving the money to these people in washington dc let the private sector keep it let them raise wages let create a virtuous cycle that way that's just my opinion hey by the way